probably aren't people anyway. I don't even know why I said that. But, uh, we're gonna have better stuff. You're like a slave? What the hell? Your beard sucks. Uh, you're already gonna have better stuff than what the enemies in that level drop, and you're gonna be able to absolutely crush them. Uh, so I, I don't understand why they would, uh, why would they make it that far along? And we're in the spider forest. Oh, yeah, it's the dark wonder. Hit him! Why, why aren't you hitting him? Al Hazir, you need to back me up. It's the dark wonder. It's Diablo. I'm pretty sure it's Diablo. Oh, crap, he spawned flesh beasts. Uh, they died. Uh, and spoiler alert, you'll never see flesh beasts again in this act. I don't think you do. I'm pretty sure you don't see them again. Uh, we won't see them again until Act 4. So, as you saw, they weren't that tough. Uh, they aren't, well, they're not tough enemies even when you get to them in Act 4. But we will definitely see more of them. And we've made it to the Spider Force. And if you've noticed, we don't have a quest. We have zero quests. We have no idea what we're doing. But we need to leave anyway. There's nobody left to talk to. I mean, there's nothing left to do. We've got Thorned Hulks here. I love fighting Thorned Hulks compared to the other things here. They're huge, right? But we've also got these little guys. Oh, Cloud Stalkers. Upgrade uh, whatever those were before. Damn. I'm back in house. I'm... The, holy crap. Something. Okay, we killed a special. Well, Al Hazir killed a special. And it dropped something. A dra jade figurine. Somebody is shooting darts at me. Who is the dick? Perhaps I could trade this for something more valuable. You were standing right in front of me? You need to make yourself more apparent. Uh, yeah, let's go put that here. Now this jade figurine. Do you see what I'm pointing at right there? That is clearly what I think it is. Ask Kane about the jade figurine. Now we might as well go back and do that now. Let's take a uh, no. Okay, so nothing else I want here. I'll pick up another scroll of identify because why not? If I could get back on here. But I did do the level grinding um, just a little bit. Not only because I was really disappointed with what uh, Duriel dropped. But with, with all the drops that I got in the Arcane Sanctuary. And all the fake tombs. I was so incredibly disappointed. So even though I don't... Well, I felt the need to do the level grinding. And it, it doesn't look like I actually did need to, but based on the fight with Duriel, I don't I don't ever want to have a fight like that again. I hate Hello. that fight with Duriel. I don't know how to do it any better. But hopefully I can handle the other guys better. That's, that's, and that's what the level grinding is, is going to help me with. Back in Loot Golain, Meshif told me he had a fondness for jade figurines. On his trading voyages, he collected an odd assortment of such small statues. I would show him your figurine. Alright, so basically we show it to Deckard Kane. He tells us to give it to somebody else. Ta show Mishif the figurine. This And this becomes, honestly, a runaround town quest. And this is the only quest like this in the game. And I hate it. Nobody likes this quest. Why do other ga Why do games even do this? Well, I gave you my word and brought you here as promised. But by all that's still holy, I wish I'd never return to this accursed place. This fetid jungle can't be the fair Kurost I left behind. I don't know what all this evil is, my friend, but it's obvious that you must stop it. I only pray that you can before the jungle consumes the last vestiges of my beloved homeland. Oh, so he's Praise you. That jade figurine will complete the set I was collecting. Here. I've had the statuette of a golden bird for years, but I consider it a fair exchange. So sweet, we've gotten a golden bird that we now need to talk to Kane about because he needs to identify it. It's a golden bird. It's a nice little statue thing there. Uh, oh, Ormus is the one that heals you, by the way. Uh, so if, if you ever need to run back to town, which I might need to do. Uh, Wow, that sells for a lot. Did not expect it to sell for that much. You have anything particularly good? No. Now, uh, one of the things uh, I have not gone over 
before, and I'll go over him eventually after Deckard Tain stops talking to me again. I've read legends about a sage named Kuile who studied the mysteries of life beyond death. If I remember correctly, his ashes were ensconced within a golden statuette. It was a very strange tale. Okay, that tells me nothing. Except that I needed to go talk to Alcor. So, the the gray stuff, if it has sockets on it, there is something that you can do with the sockets. Um, that is why I'm going to be keeping a tear rune. Uh, not just because it gives me plus to mana after each kill, but also because of uh, certain combinations that I'll go over later. What's up, Alcor? Ah, the golden bird of Quile? Thank you, my friend. Busy yourself while I experiment with the ashes within it. Then return and see what I've made for you. Okay, now he needs to hold on to it for a second. Uh, return to Alcor for a reward, which we can't do yet. Yeah, what he, can I do for he, you? He doesn't have it ready. Uh, basically, all you need to do is leave town and come back, and he'll have it ready. But I'm going to move on just a little bit. I, I'm kind of sick of this town already. Let us move on and try to kill some things. That's, that's what I like to do in this game. Kill things, pick up loot, not just talk to people. So let's continue to try to do that. Now, these, uh, these fields out here, they have flying birds. The, the, did the bird die? Oh, I swore it was flying when I ran past it, but then I come back and it's dead. See, now, this falls. Let's take a look at it. It's got two sockets. That's actually really good. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, the runes that I'm looking for right now. Uh, but once once I do find them, I, I will show you the awesomeness that happens when you do it. Act 3 is usually the point where where you can start thinking about those kinds of things. So that's why I wait until this point to do it. El Hazir, can you handle these? I think you can. Come on. Oh, it moved just out of the way. Damn you, Cloud Stalker. Scroll Town Portal is always useful. So unfortunately I can't do the, the bonus level, which is what I was planning to do at this point actually, because uh, I'm actually a proper level right now to go to the secret level, even though they won't let me. It makes no, no sense. Now these are all designed pretty much, maybe a couple variations, but they're, they're mostly in like one or two directions, and you're on the sides of the river here. There's another dead bird. I'll show you a floating one eventually. Here is a snake. I don't know if you guys can see that snake like right there. It moves a little bit. It doesn't poison you or anything, but it's there. It's kind of nice. It shows that the jungle is alive, even though there's like two kinds of creatures in it. Now these are going to take me a while to, to get through these these dungeons. And there's another dead one. I swore that there were a lot of things that were still floating around. Did I miss one already that was doing that? As soon as if you guys see one, you know, let me know. Uh, Battle Staff, how are you? You are pretty good, I think. I think. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, just don't automatically just always level up your runes. Uh, you know, the, the lower level ones, L, Eld. Feel free to le level those up without pretty much regard to anything, but once you start getting to tier and up, you know, maybe you won't know what I'm talking about. Just keep that in mind, that you'll want to keep one. I know I want to keep one uh, of a tier, at least one of a tier. I might have to keep a couple tiers, actually, based on what I want to do. But it's always easier to show it than it is to talk about it, so... I'm going to stop talking about it until I get the things that I need. So these, uh, the, the spider forest is the first place that we need to go. Um, yeah, I'm fine on antidotes for now. And through here there are two dungeons if you can find them, and the entrances to them are pretty apparent uh, if you can if you can come across. It. Now, yeah, these guys, I love these guys. They, I don't know what happens when they die. They, like, implode or something. 
but I love these guys because they're very easy to hit with my hammer. And that's the only reason. Now these fetishes that we've been fighting, they're kind of upgraded rat men. If you remember them from Act 1, I said we'd be finding them again. We find them here. They're very common in their act. They become uh, the, the carvers and the dark ones. I forgot what the, the, the first incarnation of those. But from Act 1, you remember those guys with the shaman and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, they're this axe version of that. Now I'm going to try to, to keep this as short as I can. There's so much to explore. Act three before you get to uh, the town that they were talking about, which was Traven Call. I've always known it as Traven Saul, but that's just me using my high school French. Now, this I believe is going to lead to the next area if I continue this way. Yeah, to the Great Marsh, which is the next area, which is not where I want to go. There's actually a couple things that I still want to do here. I in am overburdened. Really? I picked, yeah, I picked that up. I don't need that. That's crap, so I don't need that either. There's a couple things to be done here in the Spider Forest. Like I said, there's a couple dungeons here. One of which is qu quest related, the other one is not. They both sound so similar, though, that I always assume that it was just, oh, this is just, uh, just, it's just a synonym for the thing that they wanted me to do. Surely this is also what they meant. No. They are very specific in this game. Don't die. Die. Looks like there is actually a little... Let's go back this way, just real fast. There's, uh, there's a little island here in the middle of the, uh, of the river that I want to check out because the islands usually have a chest or two. I'm always in search of better items. That's how this game works. As soon as you get a really good item, you're like, oh, okay, that's awesome. What else do you got? That's just how the game works. So what is down here? We do have cloud stalkers. That's it. That's all you're gonna give me is cloud stalkers. Blade tones, horns, nothing. Oh, you suck, game. I came all the way out here to come. Then I'm I'm going this way. I'm continuing on this way. Past another dead bird. I will see... There's one flying. Hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Don't die. He freaking rammed himself into a tree and disappeared. <gasps> no! Birdie! I was going to name him Polly. And there's a... Well, the snake was moving. They decided... That, uh, since I was watching it, it didn't want to anymore. We've got a special Black Jade Battle. Ooh, and an Eth rune. Eth, I don't think I need to keep. It. Um, I could use it, but um, I'll, I'll find another one by the time that I find I can't carry another anything. thing. How are you? Twenty-six, fifty plus seven. So no. I can drop you guys. You guys aren't doing anything for me. Uh, no crossbow's fine. I can drop some of those. I don't need those. Oh, uh, one thing that I've forgotten to mention, and I don't know why, to be honest with you. If you hit the tilde button, uh, you know, the button above tab to the left of one, it, it shows how many how many potions are on your belt and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it, it just rarely comes up. But that's how you can do that if you so desire. I think I'm going in a big circle here. Mask, I will check that out. Uh, because I'm on a mask right now. I think I'm on a yellow one, though. I don't know. Yeah, Bramble. Bramble mask mask? Bramble mask mask. That is what I'm on. So let's take on the interior this time. I said these become... A little bit of a hassle after a while. No, I already took on this sign, so just over here. These guys are not difficult at all. Maybe that's just because I'm like, you know, prepping, uh, prepping multiplayer on Nightmare, so I'm just like, holy crap, I'm absolutely destroying everything around me. But it'll get harder. It'll it always get harder. But like I said, uh, there's no good place to level grind uh, in in Act 3, in the early part. 
Uh, just like Act 2, it's going to take you a while to get to the part where things well get close together is is the way that I always like to put it a good a good spot to level grind is when there's a whole lot of enemies a whole lot of specials a whole lot of chests in a close area that's why the fake tombs were, were really good for that now there has to be around here somewhere at least a couple of the things that I'm looking for but we've damn near gone all the way back to the front of the dungeon, the field, whatever it's called. We've almost gone to the front. Okay, so going left was nothing, so we need to keep going kind of northeast-ish. I know with, with isometric perspective, which is what this is, it's kind of hard to tell cardinal directions, but we need to go up here. That is for sure. Now, die. Oh, you dodged it somehow. Bone wand. Very good. Raised skeletal mage. I didn't even know they had that. I didn't know they have corpse explosion. No. That's always a fan favorite. Can you stay out there? Skull cap. I'm probably not going to use that. Here we go. Here's one of the things I'm looking for. There are side enemies here. And yes, these fetishes, they also, oh, form a shaman, which uses a ton of fire. I'm not a fan of those. Uh, but they also uh, can shoot darts at you. They have little blow guns. They shoot darts at you. They are called blow guns, right? Not blow darts. I always get those confused for some reason. So this is the first uh, side area. I don't know what to call these. But they're a little bit off the beaten path of the river, so uh, we're going ashore a little bit more, I guess. And usually you can find something good here. Yeah, that's the last of them. It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, y there are cocoons here. Those are, those are little treasure chests, I guess you could say, in a manner of speaking. And here we find the spider cavern! Now, before I go into the spider cavern, I want to check everything else outside. And then uh, we need to go back to town. Anything there? Yes! And then the boxes. Miners. Oh, chainmail. I thought that was one of the big shields. I was going to get all excited. Uh, this looks like it leads further on in the field, so I'm going to stop here after killing these thorn hulks, hopefully. And then, boom. It is hard to miss those guys with a hammer. Okay, uh, fine, kill the shaman. Yeah, these guys have a ton of flame damage, so if you don't have fire defense, like, you need it now. If, if you don't have it, buy something in town, you know what I mean? Get it. So, I do need to go back to town quickly so that we can, uh, well, do this properly. No, no, just, just, yes, thank you. Never forget that your ultimate purpose here in Kurast is to destroy Mephisto. The ancient Horodrim imprisoned the Lord of Hatred inside the Guardian Tower that is located within the temple city of Travancall. Know this, friend. The only way to gain entry to Mephisto's prison is to destroy the artifact known as the Compelling Orb. Mephisto used this device to control the Zakarum priests and their followers. The orb can only be destroyed with an ancient flail imbued with the spirit of the one incorruptible priest. Soon after his imprisonment, Mephisto worked his evil corruption on the Zakarum priesthood. All were turned to his dark ways, save one, Kalim, the K. Hagen of the High Council. Mephisto directed the other council priests to slay and dismember Kalim, and then scatter his remains across the kingdom. 
the priest Sankakur succeeded Kalim as K. Hagen, eventually becoming the embodiment of Mephisto here on the mortal plane. The corrupted High Council fashioned an orb to control the rest of the Zakarum faithful and used their powers to hide the lair of their master from mortals. Your task is to collect the scattered relics of Kalim, his heart, his brain, and his eye. Then, using the Horodric Cube, transmute Kalim's flail with his relics. Once this is accomplished, you must destroy the compelling orb with Kalim's will to open the way into the corrupt sanctum of Mephisto. That is a lot of information. Can you identify my items? Thank you. Uh, basically, he gives us uh, the quest, uh, which is the third quest, which is Kalim's will. Uh, find Kalim's relic, search for his eye in the spider cavern, which I just so happened to find. What's up, Ormus? Greetings. Eh, take my stuff. What do we got? 6,000, 3,100. This is all pretty good. Nothing particularly like mind blowing. Everything can be sold that I'm not using. So, uh, basically, what he's saying is uh, we need to find this incorruptible guy. Oh, this is a war scepter. I don't know if I went over that. That's an upgraded uh, grand scepter. It's the next level. Uh, so hopefully I can find something that's good and it's also a uh, a war scepter instead of a, a grand scepter. Uh, so we need to find uh, the incorruptible guy. Did I? I don't think I put anything in the cube. No, I did not. We need to find all his stuff, and by stuff I mean his body parts, which are called relics when you're religious. Now ask Catholics about it. They'll hesitantly tell you about it if they know what they're talking about. Uh, yeah. Alcor, do you have my stuff ready? The ashes of Grille, I have mixed for you a portion. And he automatically puts it in our inventory, which is awesome. Potion of life, right click to 